what is going on guys in this video i'm going to tell you what is in my opinion the best pressure cooker for beginners let's start with electric pressure cookers electric pressure cookers are awesome all you have to do is set the time and forget it there is no need to wait until it gets to pressure to set a timer this pressure cooker has two set of steam valves one for high and one for low altitude at a higher altitude you have to increase the cooking time but for this pressure cooker all you have to do is switch the valve this is an instapot i borrowed from my sister it is by far the most popular brand of electric pressure cookers and i have seen people asking if they can use electric pressure cookers instapot to be more specific for tissue culture well let's take a look on their website they have an article on which electric pressure cookers operate at 15 psi I'm not going to read the whole thing, I just want to point the most important parts. Instant Pot has a max working pressure of 15.23 psi. One of the design objectives on Instant Pot is not to let out steam and make noise during its operation. So normal working pressure has to be below 15.23 psi. Instant Pot working pressure is at a range of 10.15 and 11.6 psi. So those instant pot has the same 15 psi max working pressure as common stop top pressure cooker? Yes, it is 15.23 psi. Does instant pot cook your food constantly at 15 psi? No, it is in a range of 10.15 and 11.6 psi. They even have these graphs where you can see when you turn on the pressure cooker, it goes all the way to the max pressure and then start releasing the steam and then you just keep it at a lower pressure between 10.15 and 11.6 so do i recommend using electric pressure cookers no i do not recommend using electric pressure cookers you need a constant 15 psi or 121 degrees celsius for at least 15 to 20 minutes the only electric pressure cooker i recommend is the all american pressure cooker they have a stop top version which I don't recommend if you have a glass top range as they are very heavy. They also have electric versions. This one is the biggest 41 cores or 39 liters. You can even fit the instant pot inside of it. It has a timer but it's only mechanical. It doesn't turn off the pressure cooker. I don't even use it, I just set a timer on my watch. Because of its size, one cycle can take about 2 hours, 1 hour to warm up and get up to pressure, 15 minutes to release the air and get back to pressure, and 45 minutes of sterilization time. The biggest drawback of this pressure cooker is its price. It costs $1000, but it's one of the best and safest pressure cookers you can buy. Do I recommend this pressure cooker for a beginner? No, it is too expensive. I only recommend this pressure cooker if you are already making a profit with tissue culture. The next pressure cooker is a better value and is the one I recommend to everyone. This is a Presto 22 cores or 20 liter stop top pressure cooker. It is the pressure cooker I used when I first started doing tissue culture in high school. You can find this pressure cooker at your local grocery store for around $100. That is 10 times cheaper than the All American pressure cooker and is only about half its size. So you can buy two of these and still save close to $800. It can fit 48 4 ounce cups, 24 250 milliliters plant cell technology vented flask, 28 ounce deli containers, 12 16 ounce deli containers, or even one temporary immersion bioreactor. I think this is the best value pressure cooker you can buy and please stay away from electric pressure cookers. They are great for cooking food but not for tissue culture. 